Hey everyone, I welcome you all to Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam Academy. Today we are going to watch a video about pronouns. So, what do you mean by pronouns? Pronouns are words that are used instead of nouns. I, you, he, she, it, we, they, and them are pronouns. So, let us solve an exercise on the basis of that. So, use suitable pronouns in place of nouns that are underlined in the following sentences. When the dog saw the boy, the dog began to bark. Now here, the two words, the dog, are underlined. So here, dog is a noun. So what we have to do, we have to use a pronoun instead of dog. So what do we use? Dog is an animal. So for animals and small babies, we use pronoun it it. So that is why we'll write it it over here as a pronoun. Now let us see next. Last night, Suman sang so well that everybody praised Suman. So here we can see last night, Suman. Suman is a name of a girl over here and this word is underlined. So Suman is a female. So that is why we are going to use h-e-r her over here. Why? Because we can see this verb praised has come before suman. So that is why we are going to use h-e-r her instead of she. We will not use she over here because this name suman has come after the verb praised. Now let us see the next one. Mrs. Mirza is the secretary of the association. So everyone listens to Mrs. Mirza. Now here, we'll again write her. Why? Because here listen is a verb. And Mrs. Mirza has come after the verb. So that is why we have to write down H-E-R over here. Now let us see another one. Amit and Devesh are my brothers. So here, Amit and Devesh are elder than me. Now we can see Amit and Devesh. These two words are underlined as a noun. Now we have to use a pronoun instead of these two nouns. So Amit and Devesh, these are two people and the person speaking about them is not included in there, right? So that is why we will use T-H-E-Y, they, because the person speaking is not included there. That is why we are not going to use W-E-V. So we will use T-H-E-Y, they. Now let us see another one. My mother and I love to go to watch films. So every Sunday, my mother and I watch a film at the theater. Now here we can see my mother and I is underlined. So here we can write W-E-V. Now, why are we writing V over here? Because we can see the person is saying my mother and I. So the person self is included. That is why we will write W-E-V as a pronoun over here. Now let us see another one. Sumit has many books. The books have very interesting stories. Now here we can see the books is underlined. That means here we have to use pronouns. Now we can see it is not a book. It is written books. That means plural noun is there. So that means we have to use T-H-E-Y, they over here. Why? Because the person cannot be a book, right? So that is why we have to use T-H-E-Y, they. So we are going to say they have very interesting stories. Okay. Now let us see another one. Jaya invited many people to the theater. Jaya wanted them to see the play and written by Tagore. So here, Jaya is the name of a girl again. So are we going to use she or her? Comment below and tell me what will we use. Is it correct? I have written her over there. So is it correct? It should be she or her. You have to tell me in the comment section. Okay. Kavita is a pretty girl. Kavita likes to dress up well 
and go to parties now here kavita is underline right so kavita is a name of a girl we have to use s h e she over here now look at the difference between these two pronouns s h e she and h e r her as i have told you before if the noun comes before the verb we have to use s h e she or he okay and if the noun comes after the verb we have to use h e r but it is exception okay then my name is chirayu yesterday chirayu came first in the race and everyone clapped now here this person name this person's name is chirayu and he himself is saying that yesterday chirayu came first in the race and everyone clapped so whenever we are saying about ourselves like when we are speaking about us means self so we do not take our own name and then we say that uh, yesterday uh, kavita means i i went to market yesterday kavita went to market so she will not say her name and then she will not say that she went to market with her name so what should be there a pronoun so this chirayu is a name of a boy right but this person will say yesterday i came first in the race and everyone clapped so we'll write i over here now the tiger is a wild animal the tiger likes to hunt at night now here the tiger is underlined that means we will use it it as i have told you previously that we use it for animals and small babies now now let us study about possessive nouns so what are possessive nouns look at these sentences that is your house this is mine these are our shoes those are theirs so in these sentences the word mine stands for my house and the word theirs stands for their shoes since these words are used in place of nouns these are also pronouns they are known as possessive nouns means that person possess something means the thing belongs to them to that person to him or her okay that is called as a possessive noun so here remember the following group of words for i we can use mine as a possessive noun for you we use yours and here we have to note down that we do not put an apostrophe for yours then next is he his she hers note that we do not put an apostrophe for hers it its again we have to not use apostrophe for its okay then next is we will write ours as a possessive pronoun possessive noun so here note that we do not put an apostrophe for us then the last one is theirs so again we have to we don't have to use apostrophe for this now let us solve an exercise for this suitable pronouns so the first one is this doll belongs to her this doll is dash so here we have seen that we will use h e r s hers for a possessive noun so we'll write h e r s hers now let us see then another one yesterday we went to my house today we will go to your house now here we are going to write down the possessive noun for your so we'll write yours now this is my dog this is dash so this is my dog and this is mine okay that means ke ye mera dog hai then fardeen and minal sit on this bench this bench is dash so this bench here we can see fardeen and minal is written so what we have to do we have to write down theirs because the person who is telling 
that Fardeen and Minal, they sit on that particular bench. So that person is not included there, right? So that is why we have to write theirs. Then I have lost my pen. May I borrow Sheena's pen? I have lost my pen. May I borrow dash? So Sheena is a name of a girl over here. So we'll write hers, okay, as a possess possessive noun. My mother was a chess champion. Those on the mantelpiece are dash. So we'll write hers over here, okay, because the trophies or the mantelpieces are the mothers. Then I am reading my book. Ask Purav to lend you his book. I am reading my book. Ask Purav to lend you. Here we can see Purav is the name of a boy. So we will write his. Now we cannot write H-I-S-S. -S. It will become his. Okay. So we have to use H-I-S, his, because that particular book belongs to him. Okay. This field belongs to my family. This field is dash. So here family is a plural noun, right? So that is why we'll write the R's here. Okay. So this field belongs to my family. Here we can see my. My is written. So we'll write R's over there. I have brought my bat. Have you brought dash? Many many bat lai hai. Ka tumne tumhari bat lai hai. So here what we have to do? We have to use a possessive noun for you. So we'll write yours. If we cannot go to the beach in your car, we will take our car. If we cannot go to the beach in your car, we will take dash. So here we have to use a possessive noun for our. So we'll write ours. Now, let us study reflexive pronoun. So look at these sentences. I hurt myself. Hope you enjoy yourself. So here in these sentences, the word myself talks about I and the word yourself talks about you. Means the person speaking is self. I hurt myself. Means ke maine khud ko hurt kar liya. Hope you enjoy yourself. So here like this, these words, here yourself talks about you. Means, wo opposite person ke baare mein baat kar rahe Now, let us look at this chart. Now, we are, uh, here we can see on the left hand side subject pronouns and here on the right hand side we can see reflexive pronouns. So, I, you, he, she, it, we, you. Plural or sometimes singular and here they. Here we can see it is singular and here it is plural. Okay. So, we have to be careful. So, for reflexive, we'll use myself. Now, see, this you, yourself is singular. So, we'll write yourself for singular you. Then himself for he, she, herself, it, itself, we, ourselves, you. Now, here, pay attention. So, this one is plural. So, here we'll write yourselves. Now, they, themselves. Like this, we have to use reflexive pronouns. Now, let us see some examples over here. I will do it myself. The prisoner hanged himself. Here, the prisoner is a male. Okay, so he hanged himself. That is why we are writing himself. Then, the captain himself was cheating. Again, the captain here is a male. So, we are writing himself. Usne wo khud hi cheating kar raha tha. The captain was cheating himself. Then uh, the boys will go by themselves to the tournament. Jo boys hai, wo khud se ja sakte hai tournament ke liye. Rebecca made all the Christmas decoration by herself. Rebecca is the name of a girl over here. So she has decorated. Means decoration is all done by her. Okay, so we'll write herself. Then you, yourself, have told me that this book is interesting. Tumne khud mujhe bataya tha ke jo book hai, interesting hai. So you, yourself, tumne khud. Okay, so 
you will write yourself over here so here we are done thank you for watching the video do like subscribe and share we'll catch you later bye